This is your daily for the 13th through the 14th. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's see what we got for my Pisces. Study and learning. Thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. Well, isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? I like that. Mm-hmm. All right, what other messages do we have for my Pisces? Pisces. What's going on for my Pisces for today? Hmm. The star. The sun. Wow. The queen of pentacles. I don't know if you guys can really see, like, the illumination in this card how bright it is and then we have the sun sitting directly under it this is you guys being enlightened taking every day as what it is that day knowing that you know you you're opening yourself up to new gateways for real is what I'm feeling here. Um, there's a lot of charged energy going on. You guys are very, very intuitive. Very intuitive here. Um, very caring, very loving, very healing. I think you guys help people like a lot. A lot. A lot of you may be. Um, Maybe preschool teachers, um, teachers in general, maybe nurses, um, convalescent workers. I mean, just you have this healing energy. You have this. Um, you have this knowledge that you share with other people. You have this caregiving aspect to yourself. This selflessness. I feel a lot of my Pisces friends. Hmm. Very committed person. Whenever you put your mind to like being with someone or doing something, you stick to that. You stick to that. You are there for people. Maybe a Capricorn that you are um, dealing with. Maybe Aquarius, Leo as well. That's in your energy. Or you have, you may have those um, aspects in your sign. I mean, in your chart here. But you know, I think you've come, you've gotten to this place through heartache. I feel, you know, because you have this healing, this healing going on within yourself, and that healing um, comes from having gone through some things, having. You, you know, to take notice of certain things that have happened in your life and kind of reckoning with that, with the sun here, okay? Getting to know yourself so that you can share with others. Let's see why this is happening. Yeah. Hmm. This is growth. This is real growth. This is abundance. This is... um. I just feel like you have this gorgeousness about yourself, okay? And I feel like, you know, you embody a lot of um, a lot of positive charged energy and you share that. You share that with other people here. And you may have a child, for sure. You may have children. Hmm. But I get the feeling that somebody somebody feels like they are, um, I think they they want to approach you. They're a little intimidated by your, your presence. Um, not that you are, um, like, you're not approachable or anything. But, like, you just have this aura about you that somebody may feel like, oh, uh, she or he is, you know, they're not going to want to talk to me. Look at them. You know, you get this gorgeousness going on right here. But I feel like somebody's waiting on the right time to approach you here. This is um, maybe Taurus energy. Any earth sign, Capricorn, um, 
Taurus and Virgo, I feel like they're waiting on the right time to approach you. They're hoping that, um, you know, you will, you will like embrace them or accept them. They're trying to figure some things out here, guys, okay? And um, I just, as I turn this deck over, when I see it, it's like I have to say something about it. Um, the Seven of Swords energy is, you know, the overall energy for your reading, okay? So, this makes me feel like this makes the reading longer. That's why I don't do it in the daily. But, um there is somebody here which i feel like maybe this same individual that has either tried to get away with something in the past was very deceptive towards you sorry guys um was very deceptive towards you maybe left you in a lurch and um this is a person that wants to come back i do feel all right so that's that but they are leery about approaching you because I think that you have really like, you've changed, I feel. Let's see what the influence is for you guys. Yeah, you have started over. And you're no longer willing to just bow down. Yeah, I'm all nice and I look all pretty over here or all handsome over here. But let's not get it twisted, okay? <laughs> Because if you come with that tomfoolery, um, I'm going to handle that. Okay? Now, again, you guys have it going on. It appears here. So I feel like also you may have another suitor. You may have another suitor here that is an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like that you're not, this is just you, for a lot of you, just not having this right here. New start, what new start? How you did me? Ah, uh, no, not having it. Alright guys, so let's see what the outcome is here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like somebody is going to muster up the energy to apologize to you. Could be a Leo. But also you feel like you're going to be strong enough to say, mm, like I said, new start. <laughs> what new start? How you did me? N not happening. Okay. Um, but for a lot of you, you know, you may take this person back. But I feel like they're coming with that seven of swords energy that is going to be a no-go. Okay, so my Pisces friends, that's what I have for you guys. I'll speak with you soon.